and welcome to this video by Films by Chris. I am Chris, that's Chris with a K. There is a link in the description to my website. And today we're kind of continuing. In the last video, we looked at M Unpack to extract attachments and messages from a mailbox file, an email file. But there was one issue with M Unpack is that it doesn't recognize multiple messages in one mailbox file, which is fairly common. Again, uh, this can be used for if you filter your emails, you can run scripts on them, such as I do, to extract. Uh, or do certain things to certain emails. For example, I get uh, my pay stubs from work through uh, email, so it makes it very easy for me to write a script when an email comes in uh, from a certain address with a certain subject. It will take it, find that, that PDF, and then sort it away for me so that I have all my pay stubs, not only in an email, but manually or automatically put into a file on my computer, which can be transferred to my server automatically. And that way I don't have to manually go into each email and go open PDF, save PDF, blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, we looked at M Unpack, which only allowed you to access one mailbox file or one message in a mailbox file. And it's common for mailbox files to have multiple messages in them. Uh, one example is this, and I haven't actually tested it with this, but it should work, is if you use Gmail, um, Gmail or Google allows you to use Google Takeout to pull down all your files. And with one click, they will send you every email you have saved in your Gmail in one inbox file. So you can have a copy of that. So let's say you had hundreds of messages and you want to pull down all the attachments from that. You could either go to Gmail, click on each email, click on each attachment and save each attachment, or you can use that Google Takeout, pull down that one inbox file and use the program we're gonna be looking at today, which is RipMine. Uh, and it, it should be in your package manager. So I'm gonna do search, uh, aptitude search. Aptitude is just the package manager I'm using and I can search for RipMine. I'm sorry, I put an extra E in there. And I just installed it, so it should be showing up. Am I spelling something wrong? Oh, mime. I'm doing mime. That's funny. Okay, there we go. There it is. And as you can see, I already have it installed. Use your package manager to install it. apt install. It would actually be sudo apt install or apt get or aptitude install rip mime. And as you can see, it's an extraction attachment, extract attachments out of a MIME, which we talked about in the last video, it stands for something, internet, something. <laughs> anyway, it's the emails. And again, real quick, we'll look at this inbox file, which again has three messages in it. Uh, and this is what an inbox file, this is what an email looks like. And again, the attachments are sent as base64, so they're plain text like this. And that's why you need a program like this. You can either manually find the base64, you can write a script that looks for that, looks for the attachment name and file type, and then converts it and say, but you don't have to do all that. This rip of mine is going to do this for you. And all you have to do is, once you have it installed, is rip mime dash i and give it the mailbox file name. And again, the mailbox file will be called whatever you want. I called mine toot because this is for this tutorial. It's not like a fart. And sometimes they have the dot inbox extension. Sometimes it's dot mail. Sometimes it's dot. it doesn't matter because it's a plain text file. But that dash i will extract all those files. And as you can see, here they are. I have some, so I can xdg dash open this directory. And you can see I have some images in here of my kids, a PDF, and then you have a bunch of text files. One of the attachments is text file. The rest of these text files are actually the email messages. Um, so if I was to cut out text file and all the text files, you can see it has the text from the emails um, and the HTML from the email. So you have the messages. So an example, here is a PDF file, please read it. And again, it has the HTML in there, but you can also see it in the plain text format up here because it saves both as we talked about in the previous video. When you send a message that's formatted in email, it's going to be sending it with the HTML that is formatted, but it also sends a plain text copy of that uh, and all that junk. Uh, so that's one simple way to extract all your attachments and messages. Now, that put that in our current running directory you know, our directory that we're currently in. But if I wanted to make, I'll create a directory called output, or you can call it attachments or emails, whatever you want. I can run the same command, rip mime, and give it dash, uh, dash, 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 
dash D, yes. So I'll say uh, dash I, that, and dash D, and I can say output. So dash D is the directory you want to put all the attachments to. So now if I list out uh, the output directory, you can see those files are now put in there. If I run the file, I have a question here. If I run this again, okay, it looks like it either Okay, so if you've already run it once, it's going to add an underscore one. So if I run it again, it's going to add uh, underscore two to those, I would assume. Yep. So keep that in mind. If we check out the man page for this, let's see if there is an, a, a overwrite. So yeah, there's a dash dash overwrite option. So, and th there's a lot more options in here. We're just looking at the basic functionality. You can uh, overwrite stuff. You can also you know, set prefixes for names. You can do um, standard input and pipe stuff to this program. But let's run the same command again. If I was to run this, it would it would create uh, more so. Oh. So we have dot two, or underscore two is the last one. I would think that if we add dash dash overwrite, it will, yeah, so it overwrite the first copy. So again, I can do that and then dash D and the output folder and we can then list out what's in the output folder and there shouldn't be more than one copy of each file in there. And again, we have a PDF for was one attachment. We had one email that had three uh, images, PNGs and JPEGs. So this uh, RipMime does a great job of going through all the emails in one inbox file, extracting not only the attachments, but the messages and putting them into files as well. So this is a very, very easy way to get all attachments pulled out of an inbox file. And that could be very useful for scripting, as I've talked about uh, in the last video. I also talked about how the Postal Service sends me an email every morning with uh, images of all my, my letters, my snail mail letters that are going to go into my mailbox. And I actually have a script. When that email comes in, it rips out all the images and then puts them in a directory on my web server. And I have a link to that directory as a gallery on my phone. So every morning I can just open up my phone, click on one icon, and I see images of all the letters that are coming to me that day, which is nice to know what's coming in, especially if you're waiting for a check or something like that. And then also, you know, it lets you know, oh, I was supposed to get a check in the mail, I saw the picture of it, and you go out to your mailbox and it's not there, that allows you to know that, hey, it is either delivered to the wrong address or someone stole it, and you can report it uh, and hopefully find out what's going on uh, rather than being not knowing <laughs> whether the, the check was supposed to be there or not. So it's very useful for a lot of things, and with these days when you can filter all your emails into different labels or even mailbox files, uh, it makes it very easy to script things out and automate stuff like that. So again, I thank you for watching. I hope you do find this useful. I'm Chris, that's K-R-I-S, of filmsbychris.com. Link in the description as well as a link to patreon.com forward slash metalx1000, which is one way you can support me. You can also go to filmsbychris.com and go to the support section. There's a link at the top of the page, which will give you a link to the Patreon page. Uh, and then there's also a link to a PayPal uh, payment. So if you want to do like one time or occasional payment, you can use the PayPal option. And I do appreciate you watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and supporting. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.